This segment of Del Marvel Life is brought to you by About Faces Day Spa and Salon. Okay, so I know it seems like we say it all the time, but we can't stress it enough. You really need to take extra good care of your skin during the summer. Between the sun, the heat, the chlorine of the pools, your skin really takes a beating. And that includes the skin on your feet. Mm -hmm. and some of us take an out of sight, out of mind approach to foot care, but we shouldn't. Believe it or not, the condition of our feet can affect how the rest of your body feels. And as I found out while visiting about Faces Day Spa and Salon, foot care doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg. Let's face it, we're hard on our feet. The shoes that we wear, the high heels that women like to wear are just terrible for the feet. They look good, but they don't make our feet look good. Especially in the summertime, many of us like to go barefoot on the beach and the boardwalk. And flip-flops? Even the flip-flops. The flip-flops aren't always good for the feet as well. So as the summer winds down, it's a good time to get your feet back in good condition, starting with the part that gets the most abuse, your heels. Lack of moisture and rough conditions can leave them dry and cracked. For a solution, head to the kitchen. One of the biggest issues is getting something that will penetrate into that heel. Um, so for cracked heels and, and uh, things like that, you can actually mash up bananas and uh, soak your feet in hot water after you put the bananas and mash them up and just actually apply that all over your feet for about 10 to 15 minutes and it just has a good moisturizing quality to it. Crystal says honey works too. You can mix a cup of honey with some warm water and soak your feet in that for 15 minutes. That will kind of help um, to really penetrate in deep into that heel. Once the skin is softened, you might need to exfoliate to remove dead skin. Again, you need to look no further than your kitchen. You can use a sea uh, a salt scrub. So you could mix like olive oil and either, you know, sugar. A lot of people use sugar or salt um, and kind of scrub with that. And even if you keep your feet protected from the elements in the summer, the heat can still do a number on your feet. In fact, some people get what's called hot feet, no matter the weather outside. Sweaty feet are typically, um, you know, one of those things that I think most everybody deals with at some point in time. And there's a couple different little things that you can do at home to help with that. You can soak your feet in warm water and tea bags that have seeps for a good 10 or 15 minutes and then put your feet in, leave them in again for about 15 minutes, or you can use hot water and white vinegar. Crystal says if you don't treat sweaty feet, you could end up with bacteria, which causes everything from peeling skin to smelly feet. The odor usually comes from some type of bacteria, which, you know, we, we all carry basically all over our skin. An astringent, witch hazel, lemon is a little more of a natural way to kind of get in there and help with that. On the other end of the spectrum, cold feet. Crystal says this condition is usually caused by poor circulation. Soaking your feet in warm water or a foot massage can help. Reflexology, again, that just helps with the circulation in general or you can massage, so you could do that at home or get your husband or wife to, you know, massage your feet. Um, that would just help to increase that circulation a little bit. Or you can take a hot bath. Sometimes foot problems need to be addressed by professionals. That's why About Faces Day Spa and Salon offers the FootLogic's Pediceuticals line. It has a lot of extra benefits that you can't get just from a lotion that you would buy from the store or something like that. So I have the Foot Logics information form for you to fill out for me. After you fill that out, we'll get started. During your first visit, your pedicurist will gather information and examine your feet for signs of trouble. Anything from simple dryness to severe conditions such as fungus or conditions caused by diabetes. By looking at your toenails, I would say that it's not a fungal infection, so you don't have to worry about that. Crystal says foot care is important not only when it comes to how we look, but how the rest of our body feels as well. Your feet actually are attached to all your bones, organs, circulation, all of that systems of the body. So again, your feet tend to be a direct result of what your body is telling it is going on. So whether that foot care is done at home or in a salon, the care is critical if you want to put your best foot forward. And About Faces Day Spa and Salon also offers reflexology services. And if you would like to learn more about About Faces Day Spa and Salon, including their session sale going on right now, go to the, our website, delmarvelife.com, and click on the Show tab. That whole 
sweaty foot thing? Yeah, that's you? That's me. Oh, that's what I smell. Still ahead. Now There's, you know what to do. Thank you, yes. Uh, absolutely nothing like getting outside for some mm -hmm. fresh air and getting some exercise at the same time, and it's going to be a gorgeous weekend it for sure us. It sure is, and throw in some beautiful scenery, and it's an event like no other. It's all part of the Amish Bike Tour in Dover. Brian Spiros has more. Brian? Well, Jimmy and Lisa, there's nothing like a serene bike tour through the countryside here on Delmarva. Coming up, how you can take part in the Amish Bike Tour. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.